If you're a parent of a child with autism, you may wonder, what does that mean, having autism? You may hope that there would be some kind of good diagnostic test. Someone could take a picture of your child's brain or do a study of your child's blood and make a diagnosis. We're not there yet. It's defined as a syndrome. It's defined by symptoms that cluster together. The first one is impaired communication. People don't use language in the same ways as they might to communicate well with other people. The second one is impaired social interactions. People have trouble reading social cues. They still may attach, they still may want to be around other people, but they don't figure out how to get engaged with people, sharing attention, empathically understanding another. The third is that there are repetitive, stereotyped, or rigid type behaviors. Those tend to cluster together in a disorder that we increasingly are referring to as autisms, meaning there isn't one type of autism. There's a saying that says if you've seen one child with autism, you've seen one child with autism. They're all a bit different. They all have something that clusters together around those three symptoms, but are unique to that particular child. It's part of what makes it so challenging to say, how do we define it and then how do we treat it? We're doing better, but it's a complex disorder.